What's up, Metalheads, gamers, and nerds, and welcome to the Epic Games Showcase. This is a new series where we're checking out the cool games given to us every week by the awesome, awesome people over at Epic Games. Let's see what this week has up to offer. Let's do this. Godfall Challenger Edition. Basically, a glorified demo. Yeah. Enough said. Sir. <laughs> all right so let, let me explain let me explain before you guys start asking questions so i see the developers are trying to defend this edition of the game as being a fully playable game and you know a whole experience but yet they are charging us almost full price to get the campaign which i think is actually bullshit so the reason why i say this is bullshit is you start off the game playing like the tutorial but the tutorial is like the introduction to the campaign as well so I actually was having a lot of fun, you know, I was doing the tutorial, learning the game mechanics, like learning all the combos and gear and like the enemies you kill in the start of the game are pretty weak, you wouldn't say everything is like power level, but for some reason they give you like when you start the game just a portion of the full game, like you actually play the tutorial with level 1 gear, as you kill enemies they drop gear that you can pick up, obviously you no know, basic RPG elements that we are used to in these type of games. So I make my way through this tutorial, I am having a lot of fun, I'm quite enjoying the little bit of story I've been gotten so far, and quite interested actually by this game's story mode. So yeah, they had my interest and I was intrigued. So as I was playing and playing, learning the stuff, learning all the gear, and how it works, and the buffs and debuffs of your gear and whatnot, and how the different weapons handle, eventually you get to your first boss. So after defeating this first boss, you know, you get teleported to a whole new area, which is kind of like the hub area for this game. Uh, and I guess this is where you can select missions and you can choose different heroes and customize you everyone and so forth. Floor. But anyway, I once know. you get to this area after defeating that first boss, you are immediately power level all the way to 50 and you get purple gear. And basically that's it, man. And uh, yeah, no story mode for you, sucker. Like, I was checking this shit out, and I'm like, okay, now where can I continue the story mode? It was actually quite interesting here in it. And then I noted that you could only play, like, trials, so, like, challenges. Uh, yeah, what's the point of that? So, glorified demo? Question mark? Question mark? So, you can basically just play these trials, and I guess further just see what the game is about, yet. The developers say this is not a demo or trial version. Yeah, I wasn't a very happy chappy, not a happy lad at all. So basically, that's where I stopped. I uninstalled the game afterwards and went on to Prison Architect, the other free game this week from Epic Games. So big, big, big disappointment. I might pick up this game for the story mode. Um, you know, not being able to really level your character in the story like you would want to is kind of a bummer. So, I kind of feel like this whole edition is, is pointless in my opinion. Um, did it work to make me want to buy the game? I guess. I would like to actually play the story of this game, see what it's all about. And uh, something that I didn't like, even in this little demo version of the game, if you would, is... I experienced quite a few bugs actually, which is quite sad. At, at one point, uh, I had to go to the training room. This is after I defeated that first boss I told you guys about, but the doors absolutely refused to open. So there's nothing I could do. Yet. Uh, I had to like restart the game and then the door opened as normal so I could proceed to the next area and uh, just continue my streak of disappointment in this Challenger edition. Uh, another bug I experienced is like one of my first proper bosses, um, not like a big boss, like a mini type of boss was, yeah, he was frozen in place, so pretty easy for me to kill, just had to like spam the shit out of him, done and dusted, easy peasy. Yeah, that was the end of that, so yeah, experienced quite a few bugs in this little uh, challenger edition, so a bit disappointed in that, but I must say, what I do like about this game is the graphics is really nice, everything runs pretty smooth, can't complain. Gameplay is, I guess, generic for these type of games. I mean, if you've played God of War, you, it will feel the same. You'll, Darksiders, you'll feel right at home. So, not much more I can add to that. So, overall, I'm just really fucking disappointed in this edition. I feel like it got me interested 
but it lost me at the same time just because why does this version even exist just call it a demo man i mean why lie about it so maybe they aren't lying maybe in their eyes it's a worthy addition to the game that you can play but absolutely no one i can think of will enjoy starting off at level 50 with the best gear and grinding for what i mean the whole point of these games is to grind better gear so yeah does this game get my seal of approval mm, i'm gonna have to say yes and no so angry metal pony says no venom says yeah it got me into the story might pick it up later on if it's dirt cheap so that is my opinion on godfall challenger edition glorified demo I don't really know guys if it's worth your download, uh, you be the judge of that, if you do decide to download the challenge edition, do let me know what you think about it, and if you would also be interested in getting the full game, <laughs> so confusing, <laughs> I really don't know what the hell they were thinking. If you guys are enjoying my epic game series, please do consider liking and subscribing to the channel, drop some comments, let me know what's your favorite games you've gotten for free from epic so far, and which ones you'd hope to see next, so yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.